Garth Brooks has been a lifelong Republican, but when invited to sing at yesterday's inauguration, he said he would do so in the name of unity. Well, that's got him in a kettle of hot water with his more conservative country music fans. And please welcome Garth Brooks. To Garth Brooks is taking incoming from all sides. Amazing. Some of his conservative fans are irate that he would perform at Joe Biden's inauguration after he refused to do the same for Donald Trump four years ago. Brooks said a scheduling conflict prevented him from singing for Trump. Of his performance Wednesday, one fan wrote, very disappointing. Another said, you lost me, Garth, and this, we can play cancel culture too. Brooks said he was not taking sides. This is not a political statement. This is a statement of unity. He's also being criticized for over exuberance. After his performance, he shook hands with President Biden without a mask. Same with the vice president. He even hugged Presidents Obama, Clinton, and Bush. A big pandemic no-no. Brooks says he was tested repeatedly in the days leading up to the inauguration and was negative for COVID-19. And boy, he really can't catch a break. He's also being criticized for his hair. Online, people are making snarky comments about his new thicker do. This was Garth Brooks a few years ago, and here he was yesterday. Dr. Mark Dower says he knows what's going on. It looks like he's had some sort of a hair restoration procedure done to enhance the density of his hair. We take the hair from the back and sides of the scalp and we move it to the areas of hair loss. When the hair is cut really short, like Garth's was, you can kind of see small evidence of those scars. After all that, well, maybe we can agree on one thing. He sure sounded amazing. Amazing grace, how Brooks confirmed it was First Lady Jill Biden who personally called him and asked him to perform.